Hello and welcome to Stratford Paddock. Me and Jay are going to be looking at Rafael Varane. Now, there's been a lot of comparisons to Sergio Ramos' debacle that we had a few years ago. Is Varane just looking for a new contract? We're going to be looking into the French centre-back and exactly what is going on. Is he using Man United or do we have a chance at signing one of the best centre-backs in the world? Let's find out. <laughs> I think we should talk about Rafael Varane because he's been linked nice. with United. Yes. It does seem as though United are interested in signing him. He's playing um, for France. Now, the thing I want to talk about, I, I, I want to get your opinion for starters on whether you think this will happen. Go on. Um, but before I get that, let me just give you some context here because we've all seen in the you know people online, people on social media talking about He's just doing it to get a new contract at Real Madrid. Yeah. He's doing what what Ramos did in, in 2015. It's just the same thing all over again. Well, let's go through the timeline of what happened in 2015 with Sergio Ramos. Yeah. Because I think it's worth revisiting that. Go on. I'm at the time, we have to remember as well, that team that Real Madrid had was the best team in Europe when Sergio Ramos was there. Yeah. I think they'd either won one or they were just about to win their first of four Champions Leagues in six years. Um and Sergio Ramos's contract was coming to an end. So this is... Go on. This started Hit me with it, brother. 21st of, of June 2015, Pete Jensen from the Daily Mail cites an AS article from the previous week claiming uh, that Ramos wants to leave Madrid now. 23rd of June, uh, Pete Jensen again reports that Ramos's father is a United fan amidst speculation that, that Ramos well, isn't very happy well. at United. So, and then on the 29th of June, Sid Lowe from The Guardian reports that Man United have bid £28.5 million, uh, pounds, which is €40 million Euros at the time, and Ramos is determined to leave Real Madrid and join United, corroborated by Simon Stone from the BBC on the same day. On the 30th, the next day, Sky Sports Spanish football expert Graham Hunter says that Ramos wants to join United. On the 1st of uh, uh, July, Simon Stone reports that Real Madrid president Roman Calderon, a former Real Madrid president, Roman Calderon, says that Ramos only wants United. The 5th of July, Ramos tells Spanish TV, I am not negotiating with anyone. And then on the 17th of August, five weeks later, Ramos signs a five-year contract with Real Madrid, saying his heart and his head have always been with Real Madrid. So all that stuff about he's determined to leave, he only wants to go to United, his dad's a United fan, that was all just shite, being linked, yeah, being yeah, pushed, yeah. being spoiled. Uh, then the Varane tam uh, timeline, starting uh, on the 2nd of February this year, Marker report interest from United and other clubs amidst sus suspicions that he doesn't want to sign his new contract. 27th of February, uh, Manu Dewan from AS reports that Madrid will listen to offers for Varane if he doesn't sign his new deal. The 10th of March, uh, Sergio Santos Chozas from AS reports that Varane prefers a move away from Madrid and it has nothing to do with economics, aka it's not to do with money. And then on the, four, the 1st of April, Spanish transfer expert Eduardo Indy tells El Chigrin, uh, Chiringuito TV that it's possible Varane plays for Manchester United. That's when the link's really heated up. Uh, and then in the last month, uh, we've seen David McDonald from the Mirror say that United are set to make a £40 million bid for him. We've seen uh, Jack Otway from the Express citing reports from Spanish paper ABC that Varane will reject Madrid's latest contract offer in favour of United, who can pay much more money. And then, as recently as yesterday, Fermin de la Cal from Spanish newspaper El Confidencial has claimed that Varane wants to go back to France with PSG being the favourites. So, what's going on? <laughs> Do you see any ties between the two? There's a lot of Do similarities, isn't there? Is there? But I think it's different. I think Ramos is more, or was more, of a established Madrid legend. Um, you know, that was his club. He was their guy. Yeah, you know, his dad supported United, but come on, that's m almost meaningless. Yeah. He's not a four-year-old. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on. Rafael Varane, obviously, he's, he's spent a long time there. Is it 11 years he's been there or something? Or 10 years, yeah, is I it? I believe it's around yeah, that. Yeah, 10 years maybe. Um, something like that. But he's not like, he's not a die-hard Madridista, if that is even a thing, yeah. as, um, as Sergio Ramos is. So there may be an element of this. We may well see Rafael Varane sign a new deal at, at the Bernabeu and it wouldn't be the most surprising thing that's ever happened. But I'd, it does feel a little bit different. Now, I'm not saying that Varane's going to come to United. Mm. He might, there's a good chance he'll go to PSG. But I do feel like this it seems more like he does want to move on mm. than Ramos where he was just trying to get more money, basically. Um, and also, 
that Ramos, the Ramos thing for me, in, I know there was always a lot of reports and you read them all out there, a lot of them out. The, the, the papers were awash with it. But I never quite got the feeling it was like going to happen. Mm. It never felt like it was actually real. Yeah. It just felt like it was sort of literally just paper talk. Yeah. And uh, okay, yeah, it made sense in the sense that he was one of the best centre backs in the world. United wanted him. United liked those sort of big money signings where we can go look some shiny things to distract from what's going on elsewhere. But yeah, I never quite felt it. This time makes a more more sense. I'm not saying it's going to happen, like I said earlier, but it makes more sense than it did in 2014 mm. or whenever it was when we were linked with uh, Sergio Ramos. Yeah. What um, do you reckon? Yeah, I definitely I think the same. And and as I've said before, Real Madrid aren't the team they were then. Real yeah. Madrid aren't the best team in Europe anymore. No. Real Madrid don't have Ronaldo. They don't have a 28 year old um, Modric. They don't have a 25 year old uh, Benzema. Yeah. You know, a 25 year old Marcelo. They've got all of those players six years on. Or you know some of those you know Ronaldo's left now, um, they aren't the same team. They do seem to be a team that are currently either have players that are too old and are on the way out, or they have players Ooh. that are young and inexperienced and unproven, like Vinicius. They've got uh, you know Rodrigo as well. They've got quite a few players that are sort of under twenty three that actually have never shown themselves to be any good. If yeah. we're really honest, at, at, at the top level, and then they've got a load of players that were at their best five years ago. So I think that Real Madrid is a much easier team to leave now than they were then. My right. only concern is Go that on, Varane may be sort of using United to get more money from PSG because that's yeah, the most recent shout. rumor, isn't well, it? Look at like when Alden, he looked like he was going to go to Barca, didn't it? Yeah. And he was nailed on. And then he's gone to be at PSG. Yeah. And it was like, everyone was like, oh, you know, that's a done deal sort of thing. So yeah, that could happen. And if we do go toe to with PSG, we're not going to match their wages, are we? No, we're, I mean I know we're stupid when it comes to wages, but yeah. they can do what they want because they just also, but bang, they've got they've already got Kimpembe at, at PSG. They've also got Marquinhos there. Do they necessarily need Rafael Varane? I know he's probably better than than either of those two, yeah. but they do have two very good centre backs. The thing with PSG is you, you think they want to win the Champions League, don't they? I know they've got to win League One again, because well not again, but get it back because yeah. they, they obviously lost it last season to Lille, but. I think ultimately the goal there is to win the Champions League. Mm -hmm. Varane is a Champions League winner. Literally, he's won it four times. He's that type of player that you can bring in and can help you win the Champions League. So maybe they go, all right, do we need him for mm -hmm. the league? No. But if we're going to win the Champions League, he's the type of player we want. Because I still think that defence, even though they've got the players you mentioned there, was weakened when Thiago Silva left. Mm. I know he was 35, but... He's a fantastic defender. Yeah. He really was. Just won the Champions League with Chelsea. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He is. Um, and Varane is in, uh, in that sort of calibre. Mm. And I think that, you know, they've also got to make up for the manager's shortcomings, haven't they? Do you think that United actually won him? Varane? Mm. I'm not so sure. You said this goal, Dave McDonald, didn't you? As one of the guys that said we put a bid in for, for him. I think so. Dave yeah. McDonald. It was quite right. He gets a bit of grief, but I think. McDonald's all right. Um, I, I, I'm i not so sure. Part of me, if we've got a choice, if it's either a, a DM or a defender, even if it is someone like Varane, I'd rather we got a DM. If we can get both, then yeah, I'd love Varane. So in answer to your question, he's probably on a list of players. I just mm. don't know how the concrete the, the interest is. Let us know what you think as well, if you think Varane is even the right man, because I would have agreed with that. Two months ago, yeah. I would have said Maguire never misses a game. Lindelof is better than people think. Yeah. But seeing the fragility of, of Maguire for the first time since we signed him, it makes me think, without him, we're shit. Like, Lindelof and Bailly, even, you know, assuming that Bailly's fit, isn't a good enough partnership to win big games or consistently win big games, which is what you have to do to win either the Champions League yeah. or the league. We need another centre-back. Also, I'm assuming that Phil Jones is leaving this summer. I'm assuming that um, either one of Axel or Bailly so may well be Phil Jones has got to leave sooner or later, man. I mean, I've stuck up for Phil Jones a lot, mm. but it's, it's farcical how few games he plays. Yeah. And now he's still there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I feel for the kid, because I don't think he's just tossing off. I think he'd like to play football, but, you know. But also, I think the, the faster he leaves, the, le the, the you stop being ridiculed. Once he's not at United anymore, no one can say, how's he still at United? No. Which is the main thing. And he's he gets still the piss like, he's 29 or something. He's not old. No. He's he maybe could, 30, but he's he not He could like go to somewhere like, I don't know, a Premier League team yeah. and play a few years and actually do a bit of a Johnny Evans and have a career and do well. Got to move on, hasn't he? It's just getting silly now. Um, and how long did Kenny be? What is wrong with him? 
Why is he know. in injured for like two years? I know. Like, I know he played some games last season, but he was injured for most of it. Yeah. And he's been injured for practically the whole season this season. Yeah. What is going on? Do you think what he's is wrong with him? I think he's just sort of sparing his blushes a little bit by not playing. I him. don't know. Maybe all he's had a word of him and said, listen, you know, you're not in my plans at all. Yeah. Um, you know, which is why we made you behind a new closed deal doors. last year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sign, you know, play, you know, train or get yourself fit and then we'll try and get you a move in the summer. Maybe something like that. Maybe yeah. he's had a few niggles. You know, I remember Gary Neville towards the end of his, not towards the end of his career, but in 2007, mm. I think it was against Bolton. I remember being at the game and um, he went off and he walked off like down the tunnel and everything, um, injured. And it was like, the talk was it'd be three weeks. And he didn't play any of the 2007, 2008 season. Like really? Wes Brown played every game at nice. right back. Like he missed the entire season, yeah. and then I might be getting me, me, me times, but I'm pretty sure he came back after that. Yeah. He played in Europe a couple of times. He came on a sub. I remember him getting the armband as a sub, like giving it him, and every old traffic going mad. And then he, he again he got another injury, mm. and then he came back and he looked like shit. He looked like Stephen Alson running around the pitch against <laughs> West Brom. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. Put on a reet load of timber. <laughs> <laughs> um, so and because of that, we need to sign Varane. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Yeah, listen, Varane's a, it's a it's a it's a tapping sign, isn't it? It's one of those. If you sign Rafael Varane, yeah. unless you're, you know, spiced out your head, you're not gonna be moaning about that one. No, I don't fucking know what we've got Varane for. You, you're not gonna be moaning about it. And if we don't get Varane and we do get the DM or we get another defender, then we'll see. We'll cross that bridge. We'll come to it. But yeah, Varane, if he's available and we want him and we can get him, then we should get him, yeah, mm. because I'm not going to moan if Rafael Varane comes to this club. He's mint. But you don't think he's doing a Ramos? You don't think he's trying to hoodwink us like Ramos did, like we've seen there? No, I don't. But I do think it's time, and I like to do this every time we talk about Rafael Varane. Mm -hmm. And you know I do. Mm. And we do it on Transfers Live, and I do it every time me and you talk about on Transfers Live. I want to just recap on what my good friend, right? And I do, I think of him as like, you know, like my little cousin. <laughs> little Ronnie. Yeah, he um, made me my nephew. He said, uh, he was doing the news one day, Ronnie. Yeah. And I like Ronnie, he does the news. He talks in the heart, not with his head, with his no, heart. No, no, no. He just says things and you're like, what are you on about? But he said about Rafael Varan, he said he was one of the most sought after players in the world about 10 years ago when yeah. he was at, um, was it Lille, was that? Yeah, Lon, sorry, not Lille. And, you know, yeah, he was. And he said, um, you know, went to Real Madrid, not, not quite lived up to the expectation. No. That's what this is what this is what Ronaldo Brown said about just to quickly recap, Rafael Varane. What's what's Rafael Varane won his career? I'm, like, I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. Since not living up to expectation, yeah. which is what Ronaldo said, he's won three La Ligas. Just the three. Just the three La Ligas. Copa del Rey. Yeah. Four <laughs> Champions Leagues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Four FIFA Club World Cups. Yeah. The actual World Cup. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> the night of Legion d'Honneur. In in France, you know, was basically probably been knighted in France yep. for being that mint. Um, and he's been in the FIFA World Cup dream team, the FIFA World Cup fantasy team, the UEFA Champions League squad of the season, yeah. the FIFA FIFA Pro World Eleven. I mean, he's basically been one of the greatest defenders ever. But other than that, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think that's a great place to end it, don't you? Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we've got a bit more information on exactly what is going on with Rafael Varane. If you ask me, I think there is a chance. We're going to have to fight PSG for his signature. But as you heard there, there's a good chance that Real Madrid may well lose out on Rafael Varane this summer. And hopefully United can capitalise. Let us know what you think to this deal in the comments below. Again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you don't already. We'll see you in a bit.